everybody, Susie Q here at Q Aquatics, and welcome to Freshwater Fridays, and welcome to Tuesday's Tanks. Today, what I'm going to be showing you, uh, <laughs> today we're going to be taking a look at my brand new vacuum, the Eheim Cordless Tubeless Vacuum. So I'm pretty stoked. I got this used at a monthly, my monthly, uh, I got this used at a fish auction and I got it for 20 bucks and I couldn't have been happier. I've seen them in the store for 50 and I just wanted to try it. There's times I just want to suck the poop out like of the turtle tanks or some of these tanks that have bigger, you know, bigger waste in them. You know, on my way to work, I'm not doing water change, but I just want to clean tanks super quick. So I'm hoping this is going to work. So let's go check out the Eheim. It says it's in perfect working condition, batteries included. So it normally goes for 60 bucks, I got it for 20. You can't go wrong. So there's many times with the smaller tanks on the bottom, I'll just use a regular tube on the end of a hose, create a siphon using this, not using that, and just do that but I, I need a bucket for it to go in I usually have it go through a strainer before the bucket just to make sure there's no fry so this is the one method I use this was something I tried I thought it would help it's a similar it's similar it's got the kind of like tube at the end but it has a pump action to help get the siphon started <laughs> I like this too but I still I need the bucket on hand it goes through a net or a filter my favorite, which I call a game changer, is my python. Oh yeah, now not the kind of cool ball python, but this is a python. Look at like I'm handling it like it's this big snake. <laughs> I attach this to my sink, and when I open this, the water pressure that goes right through the top and the bottom creates a suction which starts pulling out water. Now, if it's a higher tank that's up high with 55 gallons or 40 gallons, it's super easier because once the water starts flowing, I can turn my faucet water off and it'll continue to siphon. Other times, if it's a lower tank or only like a 20 long, there's not enough water pressure in the tank to keep it going, so I have to keep the water running, which means in my kitchen, down a hall and around the corner, this is running, this is running in the sink, and sometimes, it overflows many times it has overflowed and it's a great game changer made things easy I don't need a bucket I do put um, a net on the end of this so it catches if there's anything comes through living uh, I've had a couple fry come through that I've saved love my Python and this has got extensions on it because I have to go down and around today I'm not doing a water change I'm gonna see how this baby works so let's open it and see what's happening. This is exciting. And trust me guys, I don't get excited over a vacuum. <laughs> Just ask any one of my kids. <laughs> That's okay. So let me say again, and I say this in a lot of my videos, if you don't belong to a local fish club, you should check it out. If you don't have one in the area, maybe try to start one. Do you have other fish keepers in your area? I mean, I've never started a fish club, but I think the King and Queen of Cichlids has started one. I'm sure he's got some amazing advice on how to start a fish club. Wow, I feel like I'm opening a sword. Okay, I'm a dork, I'm sorry. Um, so I'm gonna guess that I push a button, it sucks the water through here, through this, Ooh, there we go, I must have pushed the button, turn it off, oh, just all, I push this button and it sucks it through here, there's a filter to catch everything, the water comes out, the waste will stay in here, at least a big chunky waste should stay in there. Oh, I'm so excited to see if this is, this is gonna work. 
I'm going to try this in my turtle tank because I could be doing this two or three times a day and still do my water changes once, once a week, once every other week. This might be my new game changer. Now, I've seen this in the store many times, but it's like $50 or $60, and I was like, no. I mean, it's bad enough sometimes when I get a $12 tube siphon. I think I don't really need it. But they all had different bling on it, and I had, a, I had to give it a shot. But this was at the auction. Minimum bid, $20. Nobody was bidding on it. It was getting ready to go away, and I'm like, I'm going for it. Huh. Let's go check it out. Okay, well, I take this off. And this is the impeller. When I turn it on, it works. That works fine. When I turn that off. I open this up to take out. I guess there's a way to clean out this debris. If there was any, it's very clean. So we got that part. I just took this off and changed the batteries. This part right here. Change the batteries. So I must have the batteries in right because it's running. I just don't see any other parts that come off to see what am I doing wrong. Hmm. Maybe it's just really not a whole lot of suction. I'm not getting anything here. I've tried it in a full tank. I've tried it on an empty tank. I've changed the batteries. So I'm not saying that I didn't get a good deal. Just saying I don't know how it works. I see. I put it right in the dirt. So I do see it's working. So I guess it's only good if it's fully submerged. So it won't help me out with any of my smaller tanks. I think I'm gonna to have to do some more research on this. Okay, I've tried this several times and I can't get it to work right. I just looked up online. I probably should have done it the first time to see. And there's a 12 inch minimum. So this tank I think is 12 inches. So I need to have at least 12 inches. Oh, Louie, that's not for you. So this is a tank with at least 12 inches. He thinks the food swirling around the bottom is his food. It's your poop, it's not your food. Look at him, so funny. Okay, cute turtle getting in the way of my video. You can do that anytime he wants. Here we go. It looks like there's some movement, but I don't see anything coming up. There's a lot of swirling, but I don't see a lot of suction. All right, guys, so I'm not having much luck with this. I can't get it to work in a turtle tank when there's only this much water. I put it in my bigger tank, which the water comes all the way up to here. It barely sucks it up. I got other tanks that the water comes up to here, so I think I'm doing something wrong. I can clearly see there is dirt in here when I was in my 120 gallon tank. So if this is a vacuum that will only work in my 120 gallon tank, then I blew 20 bucks. Um, if it's just not working because it's older, or, see sometimes it sounds good, other times there's no noise. If you guys have any experience whatsoever with this Eheim, I'm gonna do some more Googling now that I've Really, didn't, I don't have instructions with it because I got it used. But I'm going to do some more research. But I'm not willing to say it was a bust yet. It's a very pretty $20 item from my fish room, maybe. Hoping I can get it to work. Well, that didn't really work out the way I thought it would. But what I am doing is I'm sharing my experience. And I got this used Eheim vacuum and I thought it would work instantly so I might have to do some digging around and find out if there's better ways maybe I'm doing something incorrectly or maybe it's just not functioning properly 
but I did find out that it has to be in at least 12 inches of water and it should just pull the water and dirt it gets trapped and pushes the water back out without the you know the big pieces which is what I was really hoping but I am very happy that I didn't buy a brand new one and find out but then again maybe a brand new one would work gave it a good shot and I'm not giving up on it just to do a little more research a little disappointed maybe because I thought I found an easier softer way but so thanks for checking out my new vacuum with me. See you next time.